What's happening, Feast and Friends? Welcome to another episode. Today we've got another edition of subscriber lures, packages, things that sent into the channel unboxing. I'm always super thankful for this, whether it's something that only costs a dollar or a hundred dollars, whatever it is. I'm always thankful that people want to send anything into my channel. So that's what we're doing today. Got a few things. We're going to take a look, and some of this is going to benefit you all in the very near future. So Starting out here, we've got a box. My guy John Hancock sent in a box. Uh, it happens to be a Plano Edge box, the Terminal Tackle box. He sent one to me and Randizzle. Um, said, thank you guys very much for all the informative videos, making me laugh, and a lot of times just cheering up my day. So, John, we've talked back and forth before. Thank you very much, brother. You're a good guy. Check these babies out. So you see when you open this one up, this is that Terminal Tackle deal. It's got all kinds of little compartments in here. So each one of these, you can actually remove these things and change it exactly how you would like. So you can move these, rearrange them. You can take those out if you didn't like. And they fit just down in those little slots, just like your normal dividers where you can see they've even got some dividers down here. So very modular, gives you a whole bunch of different access to things. Now up at the top, these are pretty cool because I'll take one out and show you. These are designed for weights. So you can lay all your weights in there up top. This is actually rubber, if I can show you. See that, how that's bending? These are actually like a soft, silicone-y, grippy rubber. So when you lay all your weights in there and you close this baby down, it keeps all of them held. So they're not rattling around, banging around in the box. I like that. Now, the other thing I like about it is these things are clear. So you can see exactly what's in each one of these little compartments. Uh, the only gripe might be that they're kind of hard to get into. Like, I don't have really long nails, so kind of opening those guys up, you can see there, uh, can kind of be a pain. It's it's even, I can show you there, it's even with the lip of the deal there. So you have to get your thumb under that little part to open up these like clear plastic doors. But um, that's really my only complaint. Otherwise, how you can move everything around, how versatile it is, um, kind of how modular it is, I really like. You can really switch stuff up. So. Um, again, this has that, that water moisture wicking deal inside there. Hopefully help all your uh, hooks and terminal tackle, jig heads, whatever you decide to put in here not to rust. Now I can see this really benefiting somebody you know who has a boat. You can keep all your terminal tackle, or hopefully most all of it, in one deal. From a bank angler, I was thinking, well, I don't really want to carry this big, huge thing with a whole bunch of weights and hooks in my bag. So what I'll probably do is have just like one of those little planos, a little square one, have one of those in my bag, Keep this in my truck, that way I know where I've got extra weights, hooks, jig heads. So if I run out, I can always go back to my truck and stock up, refill, and then go back out and fish. So I'm excited to use that, John. Thank you so much for this, the Plano Edge. I know these are big lately. I'll be testing that out, trying it, and tell you all what I think. Okay, next up, a big thanks to Monster Bass and Alex Rudd. Um, if you all haven't checked out Alex Rudd's channel, go check him out. Super nice guy, a lot of content similar to mine, you know, how-tos, trying to help people, teach people how to fish. You know, you know, real life situations, good stuff. He's a good guy, so check him out. And the Monster Bass, I know a lot of people already know about Monster Bass, but go check them out. Um, I did just see this the other day, and they actually sent me these lures that I'm going to show you in a bag. Um, they switched from boxes to bags, so that's pretty cool. Um, I had a, a box subscription, uh, Lucky Tackle Box, a long time ago, and I know what they're talking about with the boxes. You have them sitting around, it's like, what do you do with them? Throw them out. But pretty cool that they switched to a, a bag you can actually use now. What did they send me? I saw Alex Rudd had posted that he has some of his own cranks. I said, dude, those are awesome. I'm going to pick up some. He was nice enough and said, dude, I'll send you a few. So he sent me the, the Alex Rudd collection. How nice is that of, of Rudd Monster Bass? Thank you, guys. But you can see here he has his own little collection. It tells you down here the Alex Rudd series. This is called Mud Hunter. Love that color. Almost like a, uh, what do they call it? Like a mustard uh, pineapple, I think, something like that. Um, but you can see that kind of light brownish, almost yellow up top. Up on the top of it, it's got, you know, kind of the crackle look that you see in the custom baits, which is cool. Going down into like a yellow chartreuse belly, and it's got, of course, the uh, the black shad spot there. Kind of like a, a starburst type deal on the eye. Really cool. I like that, how they've got the, uh, you know, kind of that custom crank look. It says here, limited edition color, Messer Baits. I'm, I think I actually talked to Messer Baits a couple times on Instagram, but um, I know he does custom bait pa painting too, so go check out his page. I'm not sure if he still is or what, but... Uh, Pretty cool crank. I like that, baby. Now there's four in here. So this is a two and three fourth inch length uh, lure, seven sixteenth ounce weight. And I did see that they come with katana hooks. I'm not really familiar with them. They kind of curve up. Let's take this one out. This is a red and gold called Rud Red. <laughs> nice crank. It's that Lucky Craft, you know, kind of clone looking square build to it. Hooks. Yeah, hooks are good and sharp. These hooks are kind of interesting. You can see they kind of like turn up. You can see that the points kind of turn up, but they are nice and sticky. So, you know, those might help 
with a square bill running through that tip being just a little bit not snag as much but nice and sharp I like that I hate getting tackle and you have to change out the hooks and stuff right away I love Strike King lures don't don't get me wrong I've got tons of Strike King stuff but they often have those little tiny tiny flimsy hooks that you have to switch out so I like that you know your red gold almost like a Rayburn red type look to it um, with that gold on it I like that guy and again the crackle on back next up he calls this one juice cross so almost a peachish pink belly going up into a what would you call that like a cream I don't know into a green yellowish green back again got that crackle on it it's got kind of the the random marks almost like you'd see on a uh, fire tiger type uh, design I like that on there the black eyes looks cool I like it good looking crankbait that's an interesting color pink mixed with a green pink and green cool almost resembles like a winter uh, bluegill how they get real pale like that kind of a pinkish gold speaking of pink that's the last one we have in here magic shad so very pinkish almost purple on the bottom going up into a blue and then you can see this time it has like a silver crackle up top on the back of it uh, almost yeah black looks like a black under that on top so blue up into a black with silver so cool now keep your eye out I saw they did have a sale on these uh, monster bass ran like a promotional 50% off when they launched them um, so keep your eyes open they may do that again um, check out Alex Rudd's page I will leave him linked below and monster bass link below so you can check both of them out very cool thank you guys for sending those over I'm excited to give those a throw this spring especially that guy right there red in the spring Woo! okay next I've got a box from someone but before I talk about what's actually in this box from someone I got another package from my guy Corbinger Custom Baits. So super cool here because the first thing he sent me was some stencils. He's making his own stencils now. Um, you can hit him up and the stencil, this is one I was using the other night that just has colors on it so you can see. But these stencils when you're doing like custom painted crankbaits, this is how you add texture and lines and dots and stuff. Um, he actually makes these. It's like a, I don't know if that's like a mylar plastic that they make these out of. Uh, but he cuts them and such. He can do, you know, custom type designs. I'm not sure what all he can do. Um, but like I said, I'll leave him link below if you're interested in those. And he's another custom bait painter. Check that baby out. Did super, super good work on that. The kind of that iridescent green into the brown. You probably know what that is. Nice bright belly. Also cool when he sends his crankbaits out, he uh, puts like plastic tubing over the hook. So you're not worried about, you know, poking yourself. But super cool looking crank there my old man saw this one he said dude I want that one <laughs> so well I got to unbox first and such but don't have to arm wrestle me for it second one he did was a small mouth check that baby out great work Corbinger look at that the bottoms like your white you know like you'd see on a small mouth and it's cool because small mouth range in color some of them are light some of them are a little bit darker but I mean he's got the small mouth stripes and I'm sure this is a pattern that you know a stencil that he did on his own so if you're looking for those Hit him up. Very neat. And if you're looking for crankbaits, he sells a whole bunch of crankbaits too. He said he had a huge batch of stuff um, that he was ready to sell. So look up his Instagram. I'll link him below. Make some great cranks. And he just told me that he also got into the jig game. So first up, he sent me one of his chatterbaits. Cool look there. A little bit different head look. You know, it's not just a, a one color. He's got like some iridescent green on there, kind of a black head. And then goes down into the skirt with like some black gold green pumpkin black and you can see they're like iridescent shiny blue on it. it does have the bell shaped uh, soft plastic keeper on there good sharp hook I tested out one of the other ones but yeah his own little chatterbaits that's pretty neat and um, actually my favorite these swim jigs these are all hand tied I didn't tell you it on the chatterbait but all hand tied you can see there he uses wire to tie those up great looking little bluegill here he's got the orange the green pumpkin blue on the bottom mixed through nice head nice cool color to the head you know very natural um, with the eyes there good weed guard you know it's not super stiff like you want on a swim jig really liking that blue jig color good job on that one man and one of my other favorite colors to throw white and chartreuse you can see chartreuse on the belly there kind of a, a chartreuse dipped different color head black weed guard you can see it's got the you know the sparkly white and such on there i guarantee that'll catch me a few fish this year but Great looking, all hand tied. He does good work. Um, like I said, I actually found him through the crankbaits. We've talked back and forth before, but super nice dude. Check him out. Corbinger Custom Baits. If you're looking for uh, a crankbait or just some little bit different swim jigs, he does all that custom. Hit him up. Nice guy. Now, last in here is a box that I was really excited to get. Um, somebody that I said, hey, I want to put in an order from you, help support your business. 
um, they hooked me up with some extra stuff too. So the thing that I thought was really impressive is they, they have their own boxes. How, how do I get some own sweet Debo boxes? But you can see they're PNW Bass Candy. Um, hit them up on Instagram. I saw some of their work before and I said, hey, I want to order from you guys. Uh, put an order in. Look at that. Sweet looking stick bait. It's got the kind of translucent blue with blue flake on the outside. This is a core shot. So you can see inside there, the outside looks almost like holographic, but inside there they have a, a straight black core. So just a different look, nice and soft. Now I don't know if these are salted or not. I guess I should have asked them on that to say. I do not know if these are salted or not, but super, super good look on there. I'll link them down below too. So if you want to order from them, check it out, help support some of these small businesses, but PNW Bass Candy. And it's nice because on there they do leave their information. So I'll, uh, I'll link that down below. You want to put in an order you can but some stick baits watermelon bubble gum what was this one oh black and blue core watermelon bubble gum there i can see that working this year spawn throw something bright and aggravating at them they threw in a couple stickers really neat and i'm going to actually um send these out to you guys because some of these baits i'm going to keep uh, to test out and throw in the spring but a lot of this stuff is going to be going back to you all i'm going to be building some custom boxes going through that stuff in detail and sending it out to some of you folks that could really use it. So this color, I couldn't believe they threw this one in because this is really close to one of my favorite zoom colors. Now they call this galaxy green. If you know, you know what color this is, but check those babies out. Black, purple, some green flake in there. Really close to my all time absolute favorite color. That one's a little bit darker. Some of them have more of a, you know, a light iridescent, reflective purple on it, but really cool colors. Stubby hair on there. Of course, he's down here like you he is every time, but really cool colors on there. I like those stick baits, nice and soft. Okay, next, a color that I asked them for specifically. I said, hey, can you make this? Uh, it's my old man of mine, one of my favorite colors from all time. Some tequila sunrise. Now you can see this is a mold they've got that's kind of similar to the Rage Menace. It's got flappy deals on the back. You would just make sure those are torn apart. And you can see there, so like on your swim jigs, Chatterbaits, those are really going to flip and kick in back. So, you know, really similar to that Rage Menace style, but in Tequila Sunrise, I love it. Dark belly, you've got that kind of purplish maroon color all the way through it. Great work on those fellas. I'm excited to give those a throw. Just, you know, a different color you don't see very often. And back in the day, like, I mean, that was the color. Tequila Sunrise was one of the top colors and then just kind of fell off. You know how stuff kind of goes in cycles, but. Some of those, they threw um, the exact same thing in in some uh, black and blue. The same color in bluegill flash, and that's kind of like a translucent. Bluegill across the spectrum, there's a number of different ways they do it, but this is more like that, you know, almost like a Kytec. They have that, whatever it's called, the bluegill glitter or whatever. You know, more of a smoky color to it. It's got some blue, gold, black flake in there. Kind of like that baby bluegill look. I like that. And then some green pumpkin pearl. So that's got like a pearlish blue green almost to it. Tops of them are more of a green pumpkin, almost like that blue craw. I like that. I've got quite a few jigs that look like that. So that color will go over well. Oh, and then finally the sprayed grass. I know that's a favorite, you know, kind of in the clear water. It's got that purplish flash flake to it. The other side's green, more of like a watermelon translucent see-through, but good color there. They've got some cut tail worms too. What color do they call this? Christmas tree. So your green, green uh, pumpkin, like watermelon-ish with red and green and gold glitter. Those are pretty cool. Um, cuttail worms, you don't hear guys talking about them, but it's a great finesse deal to swim. Um, you can see there, it's just like a regular worm, almost like a stick bait there. You can see the outline of it, and it kind of gets a little bit bigger in the middle. I do like that. Then the back of it is just this cut tail. So you make sure you pull this apart where it's kind of thin there. That's what you get, that little itty bitty cut there can see that instead of having like a big curly tail grub look it's just got a slight kick to it and swimming a worm like this can be a great finesse option you'll hear a lot of the gold, uh, older guys talk about swimming a worm and a lot of times they're using a cut tail worm just like this to swim around this should be red shad I would assume yeah red shad so you've got that red shadish you know kind of look to it and then the black back also a good color. I had a lot of those when I was younger too. They threw in a couple packs of craws. Good size looking craw too. I like that the body's um, nice and meaty. So if you're using this as a jig trailer, you've got a lot of meat and everything to uh, actually get on the, the soft plastic keeper. Uh, it's got some good club shaped. You can see claws there, kind of like that rage, you know, flange. Of course that's, you know, patented. There's that whole deal, but you know the concept. Put a thing there and those are really going to flap. Um, I like it. It's got the little leg deals on there. 
cool looking crop, black and blue, and then they also sent in green pumpkin with purple and green flake in it. Those look good. And then last, I got two packages of these. One I'm going to keep, um, another one of my absolute all-time favorite colors. It's a laminate, black and blue flake on top. Flip it over and it's a green pumpkin with black flake. That's one of my favorite colors. Tramp stamp is what it is and the Reaction Innovations color, but these are little Ned rigs. So you put that baby on a little Ned head. I like that. You know, it's got kind of the the bubbly looking textured butt there, but hop that baby. Oh yeah, I'm excited to try those. And last but not least, they threw in a few of their jigs. So black and blue. This is hand tied, wire skirt there, so you can see that did hand tie all those. It's got the eyes on it. And this is kind of one of those in between swim jig almost look. You can use this for flipping and pitching too, but it's got that vertical line tie. You can swim these. You can still bounce them over brush well. Uh, this has an EWG hook. I know some people like that, some people don't. I don't really mind. I've had both and I like both. I don't notice a huge difference on my swim jigs, but um, it's got a, an ordinary hook on there, so it's not super heavy, not a real big hook, um, which I like for my swim jigs. Are these 3 8 or a quarter? It doesn't say. These are either 3 8 or a quarter ounce. I think these are 3 8 um, look good, got the eyes on it, they sent me a black and blue. Crappy or crappy color, depending on where you're from, what you're going to call it. It's good, I like how it has all the broken lines on it. Some of it's kind of translucent, some of it's got the flake. Good looking color, I can see that catching some here. And then, of course, the standard for Iowa Midwest, a bluegill. It's got the orange on it, it's got them some reflective flake. They look good, PNW Bass Candy, check them out, I will link them below. Some great looking plastics, some cool looking jigs. Excited to fish them and I'm excited to get some custom boxes out to you all. So that brings me to my next point. Comment below and let me know what you want to see in some custom boxes. I've had a few ideas. The first one I think I'm going to start out after my next unboxing. I've got a few other things from some subscribed fishing friends. One of which is for a blueback herring lake. I don't fish those. However, I got some good lures for people that do. I know they're kind of a, you know, a smaller fraction in, in certain places down in the south, but um, we're going to do something like that. So comment below, let me know what other type of specific type of box built you'd like to see. You want to see one for small ponds? Do you want to see one for fishing grassy lakes? Do you want to see one for fishing places that have tons of wood or tons of rock? Comment below and let me know because I'm going to be making a series on that coming up soon. So you've all got some new stuff to try this spring. So that's going to do it for me tonight, folks. Big thanks to John Hancock, Corbinger Custom Baits, Monster Bass and Alex Rudd, PNW Bass Candy. Thank you all so much. I love the stuff. I uh, can't wait to use it and help some of you out as well. But I need to edit, get this stuff picked up. So that's enough for me tonight. Thank you all for watching. And until next time. Mm -hmm.